Karibu. This means welcome in Africa. The Whole Foods Market Team Member Volunteer Program has five aims. Learn about Whole Planet Foundation and microcredit. See where and how Whole Foods Market products are grown. Provide community service, experience and learn from other cultures, and challenge ourselves to explore exciting countries around the globe. Our team member volunteer trip was hosted by CTC, Comfort the Children International. At Whole Foods Market, we carry the Lifeline products which is a CTC international program geared to improve the lives of a special group of women and children in Kenya. This group is called Malaika Moms, and this sustainable program provides the opportunity for these women to earn an income for their families, support an education for their children, and create products that improve the environment. Most of the Malaika moms in these programs have kids with disabilities. To be disabled, either mentally or physically in Kenya, typically means living a life of exclusion and shame. Malaika Kids was created to combat this injustice. The Malaika moms supports the development of Malaika Kids, one of the best special needs education programs in Kenya. We went on a safari to visit the Rhino Conservancy that the life change purses and bags support. We had the opportunity to provide community service by helping to open Cafe Ubuntu, the bakery that Whole Foods Market team members and the people of Mai Mahiu built together last year. During this trip, we also met the Maasai tribespeople who make the beaded bracelets that are sold as part of the Life line. We also visited a Whole Planet Foundation's partner, the One Acre Fund. African farmers are some of the hardest working people in this planet, but they live in remote places, have little access to resources, so they're crops may suffer. One Acre Fund provides farmers with the resources they need to succeed. They provide basic seed and fertilizer on credit through microloans. The Whole Planet Foundation is one of the partners that contributes to these loans. So right here is, is uh, you test all the techniques and the best technique yes, is what yes. you teach the farmers. We test all the techniques then pick the best roll out. And what is that back there that is covered? Everybody, this is a greenhouse for maize, purely for maize, that is the corn. Mm -hmm. And this one is um, it's, it's a trial going on for the, the new maize disease. Uh -huh. we, we, we are trying to work with the different institutions to come up with a resistant variety uh, for maize which can sustain, which can withstand the disease. So here there is live virus being grown. And then inoculation also uh, is being done, artificial inoculation, to find out which varieties of the maize can sustain that disease. Because that disease is very liver. It has attacked all crop varieties in the last uh, season, mm -hmm. and therefore no variety is, uh, is resistant, resistant. As, as at now. So that's why the research is going on, to find out a better one. We have so, somebody there, that is Sogam, and uh, he's... Uh, is chasing the birds. Oh. <laughs> oh. Some of the problematic yeah. pests to that sorghum. Yeah. So what he has is a kind of a, an improvised uh, noise making yeah. tool oh. yeah. that scares the bird away. Yeah. You can see when, when you just put the scarecrows, what yeah. what do they cannot scare them away. Yeah. Nowadays they don't. Fear they don't fear that. those scarecrows. <laughs> so we mm -hmm. just have to employ people to. Chase them away, <laughs> and uh, it's very costly to the farmer. One of the techniques they are coming up with is to put the aluminium foil, yeah, on the sorghum. Oh, and the uh, light reflects. Yeah, yeah. so the bad when they that. come, they just oh, again wow. run away.
One Acre Fund awards farmers with tools like djembe and panga to keep them motivated. Farmers are required to pay their loans by harvest time. The microloans are an average of $50 to $60. They have different incentive programs to motivate the farmers to pay their loan quicker. So, in addition to the microloans for basic seeds and fertilizers, the One Acre Fund also provides delivery, training, and they also enable farmers to sell their harvest at a significant profit. Who will put the topsoil for us? We'll visit just a little more. Ah, yeah. So we can have the look at the roots. The roots. Okay. 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 This is definitely an experience I will never forget. To know that by supporting the One Acre Fund, we can have such a huge impact on the lives of many farmers and their families. Their energy and motivation is really something to admire. We also had the opportunity to visit Betty Textiles, Brown's Cheese and a Tea Plantation. I was very fortunate to be part of the Whole Foods team member volunteer program traveling to Brown's Cheese today just outside of Nairobi. Brown's Cheese has partnered with Comfort the Children International to form a farmer's cooperative. Farmers bring their goat's milk to Brown's Cheese where they're paid 100 Kenyan shillings per liter of milk. The milk is very carefully checked for pH and water content and then used to produce more than 80 varieties of cheese, many of which will be featured at Cafe Ubuntu just outside of Maimahu, Kenya. I was very fortunate to watch the biodynamic process involved in making these cheeses, visit with Delia Brown at the farm, and learn just how important it is for these farmers to have yet another cash crop available to them. Waste management program is an effort to clean up my model. We walked through the city and took a tour of some of the areas that CTC was managing that had participated in the program and the difference between those streets and the other streets was amazing. The amount of trash that you see here in Maimahu and other cities in Africa is just astounding. There's plastic bags, there's open piles of trash being burned and the and the programs that CTC has will definitely go a long way to making this a more pleasant place to live and help with, with sanitation and health. Uh, just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for this opportunity to be able to share with you just a little bit. And uh, more than anything else, to thank you for the, the friendship and uh, the support that we have been receiving uh, from Whole Foods. And uh, welcome to Cafe Ubuntu. Uh, the first one of its own in the whole of Rift Valley. Uh, there is none like, uh, like it around here with the fast espresso machine. We enjoyed our first coffee this morning. Cafe Ubuntu has a, 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 an opportunity to create uh, jobs for the local community here. And uh, just behind me, there is, a, there is two acres of land where we are going to be training farmers on, uh, on uh, just good methods of farming. And we'll be doing uh, farm to the table at Cafe Ubuntu. So people can see as we teach about nutrition and all the good things that uh, go with that, uh, we have a wonderful opportunity to bring in lots of uh, community members so that they can come uh, and learn from the Cafe Ubuntu. So we have uh, such a wonderful opportunity to build the community center. We are going to have uh, the first uh, internet cafe in the town and the library, uh, the first library in the town so that people can be able to access uh, and uh, visit us to write emails. Uh, CTC does all the initiatives of, the, of education, of health, uh, and this way we can be able to integrate whatever we are doing 
uh, to serve the community. Thank you, thank you, Anilde, for uh, giving me this opportunity to share the story. And I hope uh, all the people uh, listening to me will get the opportunity to also uh, push the products uh, from uh, CTC when they see them. Uh, the moms are very excited as they make the products and they are very happy that they get the opportunity uh, not only to put the food on the table but also to educate their children and to live a good life. And so we are very much thankful. So God bless you and thank you so much. Ubuntu! I am